The Real Opinion is brought to you by Rainstorm Car Wash. Get in and get clean today. And now we're joined by the man with the real opinion, Mr. Gino Reynolds, to talk about uh, Steve Carell's newest movie. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, a comedian, a great guy, saw him in Anchorman, uh, yeah. loved him in The Office. Uh, the incredible Burt Wonderstone yeah, is the okay. movie we're talking about today. <laughs> uh, not so incredible, more like the average Burt Wonderstone uh, is probably right, what I'd right. end up calling this. Unfortunately, uh, you have a great team that's kind of being wasted on an okay story. It's not bad. It's just not as funny as it should be. You've got Steve Carell. You've got Jim Carrey. You should have a... Jim a Carrey's in this as yeah, well. Yeah, he... Well, what it is is uh, Steve Carell plays... Uh, and Steve Buscemi, they're basically... Oh they're basically uh, Siegfried and Roy type magicians. Oh, okay. uh, they have a Vegas show that they've had for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And they, had, they do all the same tricks every night. And they were best friends as kids. But they are all, they kind of hate each other now and they don't hang out outside Do of work. The same thing. And they get and mad at each other at work. And their act is threatened by uh, Jim Carrey, who's basically the Chris Angel oh uh, type character, <laughs> doing, doing all the street magic that's kind of, you know, at times yeah. is violent. Uh, I won't say Watch what the levitate. <laughs> yeah. I, I won't say what the name of his show is. It's it's very funny though what it, okay. what the name of his show is, and it's it's definitely make fun of Chris Angel, who in my opinion deserves it. <laughs> uh, Jim Carrey is definitely the best part of the movie. So when he's there, you know, there's a lot of laughs. But uh, the movie itself, uh, it's almost too simple. Mm -hmm. uh, everything solves itself too easily, okay. and it just it's average. It's uh, it's a rental though. It's not. It, it should have been straight to video, in my opinion. Really? Okay. Uh, but the cast you have, there's some, there some good laughs. Definitely. But it's not as good as it should be. Uh, Alan Arkin's in this movie. He plays an oh older magician. Gosh. And, of course, he's as great as usual, but definitely underused. Yeah, but, I feel like that's the typical, you know, whenever he's in a movie yeah, that you've seen. I love that guy. More of him. <laughs> he, he just knows what to do on camera. He knows when he needs to be funny. Mm -hmm. He knows when he needs to be serious, and he pulls it off beautifully. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, not used very much in this movie. You couldn't really have used him very much in this movie, the way the story went. But that being said, the movie's not bad. Not worth a trip to the theater to go okay. see it, though. All right, sounds good. But, uh, I mean, overall, I, I feel like we have a lot of funny people here that just may not have kind of come yeah, together and matched. Yeah, it, it, it should have worked better than it did, especially Steve Carell, mm -hmm. uh, who's not bad, but I've seen him funnier. Anchorman, especially, oh, he's, yeah. he was at his funniest. <laughs> and, of course, he's returning whenever Anchorman 2 comes out, so which is great. Yeah. This, just not so much. Steve Buscemi's pretty good in this. He's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. uh, Jim Carrey, like I said, is definitely the funniest part of the movie. Though. Okay, sounds good. Well, as you said, straight to rental or just uh, kind of don't, don't worry about it in the theaters. Yeah, wait for the red box. All right, sounds good. Thanks a lot, Gina. Thank we you. appreciate it, and we'll be right back. The Real Opinion is brought to you by Rainstorm Car Wash. Get in and get clean today.